absolutely it's a wonderful occasion and uh, I suppose in truth uh, it is the only major as it were occasion organized by Protestants in Northern Ireland for St Patrick's Day that I know of there may be smaller events but this is the big one uh, and it is absolutely alive from beginning to end you just have to be in the pilgrimage to see people walking and talking in the pilgrimage praying with each other for peace in this land uh, come into the church here you've got the, you've got the bagpipes the Irish dancers uh, the school choirs the art competition and and sometimes there's so much happening uh, that it's hard to know how you're going to get through it all and then we have a marvellous lunch of Irish stew and apple pie in the marquee afterwards so it really it's not just a spiritual occasion though it is at its very heart a spiritual occasion but it's also a brilliant social occasion for St Patrick's Day from an Asian Pakistani Islamic country and I'm here with, uh, with our Irish brother and sisters and I'm holding a cross and leading the procession. It's, it's really an amazing thing for me. My favourite thing about today would have been the Irish dancers at the start of the service. St. Patrick has been a source of great inspiration ever since we heard about him here. And today was wonderful, the music, especially the great hymn, St. Patrick's Best Breastplate. And I came away with the feeling that truly I've been touched and strengthened, also inspired to serve the Lord more through the service. People come from all sorts of different backgrounds. They come from every part of Ireland, they come from these islands, and they come from all over the world. Every age group, every kind of person. And uh, it is a great gathering of people who want to come together and celebrate our patron saint with us.